Now, calls for justice dominated the funeral service of 29-year-old Vitalis Okinda, who mysteriously died in a police custody at the Bondo police station two weeks ago. The family says they want investigations into the incident expedited and the suspect brought to book. Marianne Yambura reports. Angeline Okinda, mother of 29-year-old Vitalis Okinda, who was discovered dead while in police custody in Bondo Sierra County after his arrest, today buried her son without answers on who the perpetrator was. The motive also remaining a puzzle. Today I'm burying my son Vitalis Okinda, whom I want uh, justice to prevail. And I'm requesting in the strongest terms possible that I'll not revenge. The funeral service was dominated by calls for justice for Okinda's family as mourners condemned police brutality. And though no answers are forthcoming, the family maintains it will not relent in the quest for justice. A man that had a great future. We condemn it and we say it should not happen again to any young man in this nation. We are saying that we demand for justice as a family and we are saying that we are going to pursue justice to the last day. Family members say Vitalis was arrested on the 8th of January this year at the Bondo police station after committing a minor traffic offence. Days later, the family was notified of his demise through a phone call. To us, the safest place where one should run to should be the police station. <laughs> and when it so happens that again in the police station is where we, re we witness this kind of a death, then it means that there's something that is completely out of place. Irate residents last week took to the streets to protest the killing of Vitalis Okinda and many others in the past. The Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, also took up the matter as investigations continue. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.